Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a faster way on how to change the location of original radiograph in 3D slicer, which I have colored in red, to match with Blender for Dental Center Origin for faster implant planning and guide designer module. Before embarking on implant planning, what I did is I did an object that represents the Blender for Dental Center Origin so that I would use it as a reference in 3D slicer. The object that you are going to use as a reference, it can be anything. But what I like to do is I'm, I like to add a plane. So I'm going to press on Shift A, Mesh, and then Plane. I'm going to scale it by pressing on S and make it big enough. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of it by pressing on Shift D and then right click to leave it as it is. And then I'm going to rotate it in the Y axis by 90 degrees. So I'm going to press on R for rotation, Y to rotate in the Y axis, and then type on the, the angle, which is 90 degrees. And then I'm going to add a cube to represent the center of Blender for Dental by pressing on Shift A, Mesh, and Cube. I'm going to scale it as well so it can be visible. Now I'm going to make a projections to represent the X, Y, and the Z axis. How I'm going to do this is I'm going to the edit mode by Y selecting the cube. Press here and then edit mode. Press this icon to enable the face selection mode. Select anywhere just to select. And then I'm going to select the first face. And then to select the other faces, I'm going to press on shift and then click. Shift and click the other face. And then I'm going to make an extrusions in these axes by pressing on Alt E to open up the extrusion menu. And then extrude individual faces. And now we can make these extrusions in every axis. I'm going to click to fixate it as it is. And then I'm going back to the object mode. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to export this object to an STL so I can be using it in the future cases. What I'm going to do is to press on A to select all the objects and then file, export, STL and then save it in the location that you want Now I have started a new project. I'm going to the guide designer and Then well, you are going to create your patient file, which is a folder which will which will contain all the Files that you are going to work with then I'm going to Enable new slicer instance and then click on start 3d slicer Now 3d slicer has opened to import your DICOM file, you are going to press on this icon. If the patient you are working with uh, have imported before, it will be here. But if you are going to import a new radiograph, all you have to do is to press on import DICOM files and then go to the folder or to the DICOM file that you are using and then click on import. I have my patient already here, so I'm going to press on the patient's name. And then I'm going to press on this CBCT image. Now that the 3D slicer has opened the icon file, you will see the slices here, and here is the 3D view. Uh, in this video, I'm going to segment the icon file by using Dental Segmentator AI. In order to install it, you can go to the View, Extension Manager, Install Extensions, and then type in the search Dental. Here is the extension that I'm going to use. Of course, you're going to press on install and then restart the program. After restarting the program and open the patient's DICOM files, you can search for the dental segmentator by using this search icon and then type dental and then switch to module. And then all you have to do is just to press on apply and then it will do the segmentation automatically. Of course, if this is your first time installing it, it will take a longer time to install the extensions and the dependencies, but then in the end, it will segment the DICOM file. So now I'm going to press on apply and then it will start segmentation on its own. So as you can see here, Dental Segmentator has finished segmentation. It has segmented the man maxilla and mandible separately and the teeth. Unfortunately, there is no lower teeth here but it also has segmented the inferior alveolar nerve. Now we want to know the location of this radiograph and its segmentation in relation to Blender for Dental Center Origin. In order to, do, uh, to check on this, we are going to Data, 
and then choose the STL that we have done in Blender for Dental by pressing on the choose file to add. After selecting the STL that we have done, and then we are going to uh, import it as a model, not as a segmentation. And then we are going to press on OK. Now I'm going to zoom out to see the, the location of the radiograph. And as you can see here, it's not at the center of Blender for Dental like we wanted. To move the radiograph and uh, its segmentation, we are going to this drop down menu and then select Transforms. In order to move the, our radiograph and its segmentation, we are going to create a new linear transform by pressing on this icon and then create new. And then here are the all, all the objects in this project. We are going to import this, which is the data and its segmentation into the transform. And then we have all these uh, controls to move the radiograph and its uh, segmentation. But an easier way is just to click on display. And then the, under the interaction menu, we are going to press on visibility. Now we have this uh, transform gizmo to move the radiograph and its segmentation. So I'm going to move the radi radiograph upwards by pressing on this blue uh, arrow and then move it. And then to move it in the X axis, I'm going to press on the red arrow. And then we are, can also rotate by using all these circles uh, around. Just going to move it to the left a little bit. And then we can rotate it uh, in the Z axis by pressing on the blue uh, circle. If you want to rotate it in the Y axis, you're going to press on the green circle. And then in the X axis, you can press on the red circle. And now after we have uh, moved the radiograph and its segmentation to the required position that we want, we have to select on both of them in the transformed table. So I'm going to press on the data and then shift click and on its segmentation. And then we are going to harden the transformation by using this icon. Now, as you can see here, it's, uh, its position has been fixed to the position that we have done. Now we can disable this transform gizmo by pressing on visibility as well. And we are ready to import the segmentation to Blender for Dental. Now we have returned to Blender for Dental to import the segmentation. Take care if you are using the Blender Segmentator AI, you have to use this segmentation mode. If you have done manual segmentation, you have to choose the segment editor uh, option. But we have used Dental Segmentator, so we are going to keep on this option and then press on import all segments. Now Blender has finished importing segmentation from 3D Slicer. And as you can see here, the segmentation has been placed at the center of Blender for Dental. We are going to split the screen into half with Blender for Dental and half with 3D Slicer to continue on implant planning. So after splitting the screen, now you, see, you can see that the object that we use for aligning the segmentation with Blender for Dental Origin is still visible. In order to make it disappear, we are going to the drop down menu here, press on data, and then we are going to look for this icon, which means it's a model. And according to the file name that you have used, I have used cube center. All you have to do is just to press on this eye icon to make it disappear. And then we can proceed with implant planning. A bonus tip. If you want to have more room for the 3D view on other slices in 3D Slicer, you can remove this module panel by going to View, Appearance, and then click on Show Module Panel to disable it. To proceed with implant planning, or I'm going to the implant planning menu in Guide Designer and then Import Tapered Implant. As you can see here, the imported implant has, has been placed at the center of Blender for Dental and it's also updated at 3D Slicer as well. So now to check that everything is working well, I'm going to move the implant. And as you can see, it's synchronized with the 3D Slicer. 
I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees and then place it at the anterior area. As you can see here, the implant is shown in Blender in 3D Slicer. Now I'm going to rotate it and then place it inside the bone. And then just to make sure that the radiograph is synchronized with the segmentation, I'm going to press on shift and then move around to see that the, the radiograph and the segmentations are synchronized as well. And that concludes the end of this video. I hope you like this video and thank you for watching. And you can see my other videos by clicking on the video cards that are available now.